Chair, I will not be seconding this. I will be opposing this with several questions and concerns. Okay. I'll go ahead and second the motion. Your your concerns, Mr. Weller? Uh, yes, my concerns are uh, several. Uh, first of all, there's wording in there that is very uh, inappropriate, where the wording in the contract states these are National Forest Service lands, uh, which I completely agree with, and I hope our legal staff do, agrees that should not be in there. They are nationally forest service administered lands or managed lands. They are not their lands. And uh, I would hope that our our, uh, our supervisors of the uh, sovereign nation of uh, the Navajo Nation would be uh, thoughtful about that issue also. Uh, then also there is uh, several references to incorporating uh, law enforcement agreement and uh, several uh, pointers within that. Uh, and that documentation was not provided. Uh, with the, uh, the grant request, uh, and uh, lastly, and, and truthfully, most critically to me, I think we need to start uh, segregating ourselves from any funding from the federal government towards law enforcement so that we don't lead ourselves towards a situation that just took place up in Nevada, uh, where a sheriff uh, refused to respond to a citizen's request to protect him and would not stand between the federal government and the citizen uh, and, and until it escalated into a nearly violent confrontation. Uh, and uh, it was very obvious, and I was there to speak to the people involved, including the law enforcement people, that grants and the concern about losing contact with funds was one of the critical issues associated with the sheriff not setting up and standing for their duties. I'm sure Mr. Eager, and um, our wonderful sheriff, Mr. Bedman, would uh, uh, readily tell me that, uh, that, that that could not possibly happen here. Uh, but I'm concerned greatly for that. And uh, to that issue, I hope that uh, Chief Deputy Eager, Eager would make a statement before us that he would always respond to stand between the federal government's law enforcement capability, which they do not have authority for, and stop it before it gets to any of our citizens or any of our processes here in the county. Okay. Response, uh, Chief? The response is the sheriff has the authority to uh, deputize anyone that he sees fit in his county. We've had the, the uh, Forest Service law enforcement come to us multiple times requesting uh, to be deputized. Sheriff Dedman has always refused to do that. We do have a working relationship with them, which has absolutely nothing to do with being tied to any funding, and we will continue to do our job as we see fit. Okay, thank you. Yeah, and, and uh, Mr. Chairman and uh, Chief Deputy Eager, I, I appreciate that, and I and I understand that has been the uh, history up to this point, and there's no, there's no uh, accusation or any inferences. Uh, uh, opposed to that, uh, but I have not seen the documentation that this is tied to, uh, and uh, and I, I want to raise this issue on a regular basis uh, within any funding that comes from the federal government in any way towards our law enforcement uh, organization, and I ask that your organization start to think about that, uh, because uh, this is to protect the citizens of this, this county. And if we have our lands back, and we could uh, utilize them in a manner appropriate, we could uh, start building the economic base to grow the sheriff's department and the educational systems in this county. Uh, and so I stand for uh, not bringing that funding into this county any longer. So I appreciate that, and I'll be voting against this particular grant. Thank you. Okay, thank you. With that, I'll go ahead and call for the question. All in favor say aye. 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 Oppose? Today. Aye. 